Yeah, it'll take about five months to tear down what uh, it took construction crews almost a year to build here in Rock Hill. But uh, before it's gone, well, how about one last look inside what would have been the Panthers headquarters and practice facility. Maybe you've seen it from a distance, driving by an I-77, just beyond the trees, that massive roof sloping down from a sky-high steel skeleton. But up close, there's no scoreboard or sidelines here, no huddles or halftime highlights, which is why this hulking, half-finished home of the Panthers still feels, for now at least, like a loss for Rock Hill. Yeah, there's disappointment. You know, there, there was a lot of promise, you know, a, a lot of uh, excitement about what could be out there. And Instead, Mayor John Geddes says Rock Hill made a deal with a local demolition company to knock the whole thing down for a dollar. The city keeps the land, the company keeps the salvaged steel to sell off what it can, but when the Panthers stopped construction here, hundreds of construction jobs also disappeared, leaving behind 350,000 square feet of unfinished offices and unwanted training space and unused building materials and especially the unkept promise of that NFL home here. Well, it's been there for a while, and everyone that plays in that game, so to speak, for a structure that, that big, they've known about it, could not know about it, right? So if there was any real interest in that, we would have heard by now. And so, how long do you wait? Down the sideline, see you later! It all seemed like a good idea at the time. The Panthers still playing their games at Uptown Charlotte's Bank of America Stadium, but just about everything else, from weeks of preseason practice to players picking up their Panther paychecks. What's up, big dog? It would all happen just over the state line instead, here in Rock Hill. You know, Football City, USA. Football City, USA. All right, you're gonna know Rock Hill. That was team owner David Tepper's original plan, getting a thumbs up from South Carolina's governor and others, promising to turn Rock Hill into Pantherville. Part NFL team headquarters, part football fan fantasy camp, part Rock Hill concert stage and event center, all surrounded by homes and hotels and even a new sports medicine hospital. So this is gonna be a showcase down here and going to bring people down to this region and we'll have, you know, you know, just a, a sense of excellence not only up there for the football team, but everything we do down here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. But for Rock Hill, well, that was then and this is now. Yeah, we're out here in what would have been the middle of the Carolina Panthers practice field, but now, well, it's pretty much the middle of a demolition project. That's where the stands were supposed to be. And behind us, big glass panels for an enclosed area where fans could also watch practice. Now it's uh, just gravel and mud. Understandably, some people that still aren't, you know, over it yet. And you're right, they know who the bad guy is. Inaccurate statements that were made, the attempt to uh, belittle our community by, by others. And I think that that burns people more than actually the development changing. But now it's developable and the infrastructure is pretty much already in place to a, to a large degree. Yep, Mayor Geddes says once the unfinished building is gone, it's what's left on the Panthers property that still makes it attractive. The rocks and the hills here in Rock Hill are mostly cleared now on this 240 acres, leaving the next developer who wants to build here with a big head start by making sure it's not an eyesore, making sure it's not something that is a black eye for all of us or a road to nowhere for anyone. There's not a better site, I think, in the Southeast region for good development than this site. And then there's this brand new exit on the interstate, still under construction. The state of South Carolina keeping up its end of the bargain even after the Panthers pulled out, which means pulling in to this property on newly built roads will be no problem. You get off an interstate and pull into your, 
your parking lot ain't a bad deal. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of bad deals, we asked the mayor of Rock Hill if there's a lesson here for Charlotte. They're going to have their hands full because he's going to go in and say, you see what I did to Rock Hill, I'll do to y'all making future stadium deals with the same team owner who came into South Carolina looking like a hero. Dave Tepper is a great entrepreneur, businessman. He's very generous, he's highly regarded. But eventually leaving Rock Hill with zero. And Charlotte's got a lot more to lose than we did. I mean, you've got a franchise. It's our franchise, I'm a PSO owner, don't get me wrong. I'm sure they'll handle it just fine, but I'm glad that ain't me. <laughs> And uh, what about the Panthers? Well, they were supposed to hold their uh, preseason training camp here in Rock Hill for this coming season, but uh, looks like they'll be back at Wofford University in Spartanburg instead. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.